Hi friends, this is Julie Golding Page, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in St. Stephen, New Brunswick, Canada, along the tidal Scudig or St. Croix River, the traditional territory of the Passamaquoddy. And I'm grateful that they share this beautiful place with us. We are just at the end of a 24 hour long unplanned power outage. So that brought a lot of interest in our lives over the past day or so. And also, um, I've been suffering from bronchitis. You can probably hear in my voice. I'm on three different prescriptions to try to address that. But this is new catalog day. The new annual catalog is finally live. And so I really wanted to try to come on and talk to you folks and um, just spend some time with friends and celebrate this new catalog. So what we're gonna do today, if my voice can keep up with me, um, is do a walkthrough of the new catalog with samples. And uh, I'll show you a number of the new products there, the new colors, we have so many new colors. So we have 11 new core colors and five new ink colors. And then finally at the end, I'll do a demo of a project with brand new stamp sets, brand new colors, uh, brand new dyes, everything new from the new catalog. Okay, so bear with me. I'm sorry about my voice today, but hopefully you can still understand me and um, hear what I'm saying anyways. And I think I can actually see the comments today. So I figured out how to turn off that uh, stars uh, that have kept me from seeing the comments in the past. So I think we're all set and ready to go. All right. So let me just point the um, camera at my table and we'll get started. All right, I'll straighten that out for us here. So I would love for you to order with me and uh, get to know me. I would, I would love to get to know you. And if you check out my website, that's www.juliescraftaddict.com, on there you will find um, a introduction to me because I know when you meet people on the internet you wonder, who am I even talking to? And so there's just a little bit of information about me as well, so we can get to know each other a bit. And this month, if you order with host code, uh, this is the host code, 3J3KUUDT, and I will have a link uh, right on this broadcast on the post after, uh, hopefully by supper time, Atlantic time today, with that link um, and host code embedded right in it, so you don't even have to enter it. But uh, for now, if you want to order from the new catalog right away, just go to juliescraftaddict.com, click on shop with me, and you can get to my page where you can order with me. And it'll prompt you, um, <clears throat> there, or rather, there'll be a place to enter this host code. So just make sure you have the host code if you're going there. But I will put the link up for you. But first, I want to show you um, what you'll get if you order with me this month. You will get a free international tutorial bundle featuring the brand new in colors. Here they are. So we've been waiting a long time for these. And look at these lovely colors. They're very different from last year's in colors. We've got wild wheat, copper clay, pebbled path. This one is boho blue. I'll just move that one up a little. And this one is Moody Mauve, or is it Moody Mauve? Apparently in some places uh, in North America, it's Mauve, and other places it's Mauve. So maybe you can tell me, what is it where you live? <laughs> where I live, it's Mauve, rhyming with stove. But whatever you call it, it's a very interesting new color. And <clears throat> I wanted to show you what these colors look like together. So here is a card that shows these colors. Uh, colors all working together. So you have the boho blue here, you have the moody mauve here, you have the wild wheat at the bottom and then some blending in between for some lovely other colors as well. And then you've got this copper clay ribbon. The only one I didn't use on this card was Pebbled Path. And so what looks like a number of very neutral colors when they're put together can be very bright. And so this tutorial bundle that I offer free when you order with me this month. We'll show you all kinds of other things you can also do um, with these colors. Um, and the, the projects are from demonstrators around Australia, Canada, and the USA. So lots of variety, lots of different ideas. So let's go on and do our catalog walkthrough. So here we go. Here's the new annual catalog. Hooray, it is finally here. And I wanted to start with one of my very favorite suites in the whole catalog. This is on page 110. 
and it's called Fresh as a Daisy and it's so pretty. So I'm going to just get some items from that set so you can see what they look like. <clears throat> All right, so again, that's page 110 of the new catalog. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side and show you these items. So here, first of all, is the Cheerful Daisies stamp set. And isn't that cute? I just love daisies. They're so cheerful, just like it says there. I just love them. And it has very nice dies that go with it. So if you don't want to stamp all the images, you can just cut them out, which is a really nice thing. I think you could make all kinds of fun cards with that. I haven't had time to play with it quite yet, but I will be. And here are some coordinating embellishments that come in new colors. So this is the new Lemon Lolly. I'll just show you that. So this is Lemon Lolly, one of the new core colors. This is Boho Blue. And this is the Copper Clay, which is one of the in colors, uh, same as Boho Blue. These are called Adhesive Back Solid Gems. So those are really nice. All right. And the paper is gorgeous. You have to see this. So this page has all kinds of different colors on it. And it also has these little mini cards, which are very nice. And look at this cute daisy pattern here. You get different colors again. So you've got some of these new colors like the pretty peacock. You've got lemon lolly in there as well. Crushed curry. This one's the moody mauve or mauve, depending on what you call it. Um, this is bubble bath, a, a nice new pink with just a hint of lavender behind it. This one has boho blue and then the the copper clay in the centers. And then this one is centered on garden green, lemon lolly, that's the pale yellow there. And then we've got the crushed curry in there. And this I believe is the wild wheat. So it's very interesting how these colors all come together. So um, this cheerful daisies, and this is called fresh as a daisy paper. So just love that. And in fact, I'm using it in an upcoming class, which I'll show you. This one um, is using uh, the green kind of colors and I've paired it with an existing stamp set, which I will now show you in the catalog so you can see. So this is the one, it is called Playing in the Rain and it also has coordinating dies. This is on page 60 and that's carrying over from the mini catalog that just retired yesterday. And it used a completely different color scheme than what I have used here. And so I wanted to try to use it in a different way altogether uh, without the designer series paper that it originally came with. And it just pairs so well with these cute little daisies. So that is the Playing in the Rain class. And uh, yeah, that is coming up in May. It is still advertised on my website right now. Um, but due to... Uh, Due to having uh, bronchitis, I didn't get <clears throat> the class information taken down off my page. So if you register for it today, I can honor that registration and we can get you into that class for sure. Okay, so let's go on to the next part of the catalog, continue our walkthrough here. And this is the Countryside Inn Suite, which is gorgeous as well, in a whole different way. So it's all these shades of blue. You've got Balmy Blue, which is a color we've had before, Misty Moonlight. So Misty Moonlight is a new core color, and it's a returning in color from a couple years ago. Boho Blue, one of the new in colors, and then Night of Navy, a returning core color that we had before. So let me show you what you can do with this though. I didn't pair it with this stamp set. I used something else um, entirely. I used the online exclusive. So what I did was I took this Irresistible Blooms Cling Set, which is an online exclusive. It's not in any catalog, just available online. And oh, hi, Kathy. It's lovely you're here. And um, so I, I decided to pair this with the brand new paper and look what I came up with. So this is a simple stamping class that I'm offering. And again, I meant to take it down, but because of being sick and then having a power outage, I didn't get it taken down yet. So if you register today, that is by the end of May 2nd, um, I can still admit you to that class and I'm sure that we can get you in there. I'll do my very best. And um, this one is simple stamping. So we're just using one ink, which is Night of Navy. 
and then using the Irresistible Blooms stamp set and also the die set. This is a returning ribbon, but this is brand new paper. So let me show you the details on that paper right now. Oh, and I've got Misty Moonlight to remind you of that color. That was so popular. I'm really glad that they brought it back. It's lovely. Now here's the paper. Look at these beautiful shades of blue and white. And they kind of have a nature theme with them. Flowers, but also trees and some little animals. And I just loved that paper when I saw it. I thought, I have to have this. And then I decided to use it with the floral stamp set as well. Um, so it's really good that a number of the products that you see in the new catalog, while they are brand new and use brand new colors, can very nicely be paired with items we already have. And that is, of course, what everybody wants, right? Because as much as we love all the new things, we have to think about our budget sometimes too, and so it helps to have things you can use together. So in that vein, here's another one. So this stamp set is in the moment. It's on page 96. It's another returning stamp set, and I think this is quite popular, so it's entirely possible that many of you already have this stamp set. I know I had it already, and I liked it a lot. And then I decided to pair that with the online exclusive paper. So let me show you what I did. So <clears throat> here's some samples of what I ended up with. So this is the, uh, what's it called? Just a second. It goes with the Irresistible Blooms. I think it's called Hello Irresistible, the paper. And look what you can do. You can pair this with Soft Sea Foam, which is a color we had before. And then I used one of the brand new ink colors, which is Pretty Peacock, and put that together. So. Here's what we have. So here's the pretty peacock, which I think is a very handsome color. So it's like this um, deep blue green. Um, it reminds me, I guess, of a peacock, but I think more of ocean colors when I see this. It's just really beautiful. And this is the paper. So look how lovely that paper is. So that's an online exclusive paper. And you can pair it with a stamp set that's in the new catalog, but one that you may already have because it was out before. And I'll show you a couple more samples that I made with that as well. All right, so here's a couple more that I did with it. So here's another one from In The Moment and the Hello Irresistible paper and yet another. So these are actually for my team's make and takes. And um, my team is called Creative Cafe. If you'd like to join us on Creative Cafe. Uh, we'd be delighted for you to come and join us. You always get some free things from Stampin' Up! when you join. You can be a happy shopper. You totally don't have to sell anything to anyone. And if you join now, um, you will have membership all the way through the end of October without having a quarterly minimum until you reach that time. And then you decide if you want to remain part of it or not. But up to that point, you have all the privileges of uh, joining Stampin' Up! and Creative Cafe. These make and takes are part of a monthly $15 make and take program I have for my um, Creative Cafe members um, who are all happy shoppers. That's what we say if we're not selling to anybody but ourselves. We're just happy shoppers, happy to get the discount. You can get a discount starting at 20% on your future orders, which is really, really great. If you want to go to my website, you can find out more about joining my team or just shoot me off a message. So again, www.juliescraftaddict.com and just click on Creative Cafe and it will tell you the details for that. All right, let's go to our next part of our walkthrough here. So I'm going to get the right paper here. Okay, so I really wanted to point these out. These are the designer series papers that address all of the collections of core colors. And since the core colors have changed radically, we've got 11 new core colors out of the 40 core colors. So that is a lot uh, of new colors. Um, then this is a nice, and it can be an economical way to get kind of a smattering of all different DSPs that will match your different colors. And they're all based on the different collections. Like you can get brights, neutrals, regals, or subtles. And let me show you what I've got here. 
So I have, here's a collection of the brights. So you in this you get 40 sheets, and that means you get two each of all the different designs. So you get four, four sheets in each of the colors in that collection. So there'll be 10 colors, and you get four sheets in each color. So let me show you kind of what that looks like. So here's from the Subtles collection. So you've got Soft Sea Foam, Pool Party. You've got Bubble Bath, that's one of the new ones. This is Fresh Freesia. This one is Lost Lagoon, very pretty. Um, this one is Lemon Lolly, I just love that color. I like the name too. Calypso Coral. This one's Petal Pink, Highland Heather. And this one's Balmy Blue. So you can see they're all the color, the core color and white. So they're very versatile. They'll work on so many different things. And you have a different pattern on the back of everything. Oh, you like that, that paper too, do you, Kathy? Yeah, I just think it's so useful. So I got a few of those. I got a Brights collection. I got the Subtles collection. And I also bought the Neutrals collection. So it's got uh, all the grays and dark greens and browns and so on. And these all address some of these new colors, which is Lemon Lime Twist. How appealing is that? I just think that's so lovely. It makes me think of summer, actually. This one is Lost Lagoon. So that pairs really well with the Pretty Peacock. And this is Pecan Pie. And I just really like the look of this brown. I think it'll go great with Bubble Bath, too. Um, and have kind of a chocolatey thing going on there. Um, but it does make me want to eat pie all the time. Does it have that effect on anybody else? I, now we've got two pie ones. We have pumpkin pie and pecan pie. So I'm going to be hungry every time I'm stamping now. <laughs> but oh well. All right, so let's go on to our next item. Let's see what it is. Oh yes, so I wanted to show you a sample of what I did with my Brights collection. So from the Brights papers, I made this card and I will show you how it works here in a minute. But I'm using the Ringed with Nature stamp set. That's a returning stamp set, so one I already had. And this is gonna be for my Christmas in July class, which I'll be advertising very soon. I hope to have it up by now, but unfortunately I got sick and then the power went out for 24 hours, so that didn't work. But uh, very soon I'm gonna have that up definitely next week. And uh, registrations are available across Canada. There's the die set, but in my classes, you don't require the dies. You can just register if you have the stamp set. And also you're free to use a stamp set from your own collection if you prefer. You don't have to use the ones that I'm using. So this one is gonna be a fun folds class for Christmas in July. So you've got this band on here. And then the card opens up like that. And you can pull this out and put your message on. And you could be free to decorate inside as much as you wanted. I wanted kind of a minimalist look and I just left it the way it was. And see, that's how the outside looks. So it's just a big long sheet and then we score on certain lines and I'll give you all the instructions for that if you're interested in that class. All the dimensions and I also will provide all the cut pieces for you. And there will also be uh, a goodie bag. All my classes involve a goodie bag too, so that's always fun. You can take some things home and, um, or not, not take them home. I'll have them delivered to you since it's all online, uh, but you'll get a goodie bag to use later as well. So that's one of the cards that will be in that particular class. And if you want to keep up to date and not miss anything uh, that's going on in my crafting world, um, I invite you to sign up for my newsletter. And how you can do that is go to www.juliescraftaddict.com and click on e-newsletter as the tab at the top and just sign up for my newsletter. And then you'll receive all the news about all my classes, promotions from Stampin' Up, other special promotions I'm doing and so on. Okay, so let's see. So I was talking about the new colors. So here we go. So here's the new in colors that we looked at. Here are the in colors from last year. See how different they are. They're so bright last year and they're much more subtle this year, I guess, and a bit more, more neutral, which is nice because now we have all these different things to work with. These are the new brights. So we have some new colors. 
like Lemon Lime Twist, Azure Afternoon, and Berry Burst, which are all very nice. We have the new Neutrals Connect collection, which has the Pecan Pie and Misty Moonlight added. The Regals collection, which we have added uh, Pretty Peacock and Blueberry Bushel. And then in the Subtles, we have Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Fresh Freesia, and Bubble Bath added. And if you're looking at all these colors and thinking, that is 15 brand new colors. So it's it's really 16 new colors, but one of them is Fresh Freesia, and we've had that for the last couple of years in the in colors. So I've been just saying we have 15 new colors since we've had that one for a while. But you may be looking at them and going, how am I going to afford all this? And I think we're all in the same boat. Um, the economy is difficult everywhere right now, all over the world. And if you're wondering how to afford these, I might have something that could help you out. So I have what's called color clubs that I've designed. So this is designed to collect the new colors on a budget. So you can choose from the new core colors, 10. You'd get two ink pads per month, plus some coordinating paper with that. Or you can be part of the in color club or both if you want. And that's where you get the five new in colors. So you'll get one ink pad per month, plus the stamp and blends that go with it, plus some coordinating paper. Um, so all of these are outlined right on my website. So if you go to www.juliescraftaddict.com, um, you will be able to find a tab that says color clubs. Just click on that and it details exactly what's involved in them. Um, and I'm going to be taking new members kind of on a rotating basis. So um, I ordered my product for the people who signed up already um, earlier today, but it's not too late to get involved. Um, if you want to sign up now, um, if I've got enough people signing up now, I will order again right away and then you can get in on it for this month. And if not, then just join for an extra month at the end. And so I've explained all that on my webpage. So it's not too late to get involved. And uh, hopefully that'll help us all be able to collect all these lovely things without totally breaking the bank. Okay. And I also have had some designer series paper shares, embellishment share, and specialty paper shares. Again, if you go to www.juliescraftaddict.com, you'll find all of the details there. And um, I was hoping that I would close them by now, but again, I got sick and then uh, the power went out for a long time. So I've left them up. If you want to join, um, we'll leave them up there through this week and uh, just get there and uh, join up as soon as you can. And um, I'd be happy to help you out with that as well, because I do have a couple of shares left in each of them. So uh, if you want to get in on that, please do. And another way uh, to get in on the new colors in a budget-friendly way is this. Um, you may not have seen this. It's kind of hidden on another page here. So let me just see if I can find it for you. Um, here it is. So it's kind of this unassuming page. So this is page 125. So there it is, 125. And if you look here, there's this thing that's called new core colors. So this is a great way to get your cardstock. So you get 22 sheets of eight and a half by 11 cardstock to each of the 11 new core colors. So they included fresh freesia. So that means you get two sheets of each color. So let me just show you what that looks like in reality. I bought some of these myself because I thought it would be so helpful. So Lemon Lolly, there's the Lost Lagoon. Um, that's Bubble Bath. There's Fresh Freesia. That's Azure Afternoon, Pecan Pie. There's Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel. Uh, let's see, Pretty Peacock and Misty Moonlight. So those are the 11 new core colors. And so in this core color cardstock selection, you get two each of the 11 new core colors. So I think this is a really economical way to buy it. Then you've got a little bit of everything that's new 
without having to buy a full set of cardstock for each. And they do have this collection also for the in colors. So for the in colors, it's just down the page a little. And again, we are on page 125. So for the in colors, it's 2023 to 2025 in colors. And here it is, 20 sheets, and you get four each of the five colors. So I'll show you that collection as well, because I got it right here. I'll just pull these out so you can see them. It helps to see what the cardstock looks like, I think. So there's Copper Clay, Boho Blue, that's Moody Mauve, or Mauve, that's Pebbled Path, and that's Wild Wheat. So these collections of cardstock, I just think they're brilliant, because they save you a heap of money until you see kind of which colors you're going to use a lot of. It's a great way to get a selection. And then you can play with them all a little bit before you invest a lot of money. Here's also the in-color dots I wanted to show you. So these are the new in-colors. Uh, and there are these lovely glossy dots. So they're just called 2023 20, to 25 in-color dots. And I really like those because they will go on a lot of projects, not just the in-colors. But I think they'll match a lot of things that we already have. So that's really good too. Now, let me see if I'm missing anything I wanted to tell you before we get on to our project. I think I've covered everything I wanted to, uh, but if you have any questions about any of the new products, just let me know. We're gonna go and focus on our project now. So here's where we are. We're in the Bright and Beautiful Sweet Collection. This is on page 14 and 15, and look how fun these are. So they just look fun and summery, and they have lots and lots of balloons. So they're great for celebrations, which we seem to have a lot of in the summer and the spring with graduations, lots of birthdays, of course, as always. And it's just really, really nice to have all of these items. So I wanna show you some of the things that we're gonna to use today. All right, so I'm just gonna move this out of the way. So we have space. And first of all, I'm gonna show you a card that's gonna be in an upcoming class. So here's a sample that I did. And this is going to be in a simple stamping class because as you can see, I'm just using this color. Uh, I'm not sure how many colors we're gonna use in the class, but often in my simple stamping, we'll use one or two colors, so it won't be too many. Um, and you can see that it, it just coordinates with everything on the card. There's so many colors to use here. And you just have to stamp a little bit here and a little bit here, and we just keep it straightforward and fun. So that's going to be in my simple stamping class coming up, um, which will also be my club class of the month. So we're going to do four cards, and we're going to just keep it simple and fun because these ones will be part of the class selection in July. So I'll have some information up about that. If not this week, then next for sure. All right, and I want to show you today's card that we're going to make. So here is the sample card we're going to make today. And I hope you enjoy it because I think this is such a fun, fun bundle to work with and sweet to work with. So let's see, we need some colors here to work with. So let's use these brand new colors, which I really like. They're so cheerful and fun. So the colors we're going to use are this one, Azure Afternoon, and this one here, which is Bubble Bath, I love that one, and this one here, which is called Berry Burst. So usually I'm not much of a pink person, to be honest, but this pink, I don't know, it's just gorgeous. It has like this hint of lavender behind the pink that takes it in a different direction, and it's just so vibrant, even though it's pale. So I really, really like it. Oh, I'm glad you like the card with the balloons. Thanks, Kathy. So let's do our stamping and coloring first. And actually, whoops, I got a little fuzzy on there. We're gonna deal with our ribbon first because we're gonna do some coloring with that ribbon. So let me see what we can do there. I'm just gonna move my ink pads out of the way for a minute. And we're gonna grab the ribbon. And this ribbon is actually a returning ribbon. So this is called Gold and Vanilla uh, Satin Edged Ribbon. And you can see I've used a lot of it because it was in the previous catalog too. 
And this is all I've got left. <laughs> so I just have this tiny, tiny little piece left. And what we're going to do is we're going to color it to match our card. So see how it's this lovely azure afternoon blue? Well, that ribbon doesn't come in azure afternoon, but we're going to turn it into one anyway. So let's get some paper underneath there. And let's see. All right, I'm going to put a piece of used cardstock underneath here so that we can color on it. And I'm going to do this first because it does take the ribbon a little bit of time to dry. So let me show you how easy it is to do this. So here's my new Azure Afternoon Stamp and Blend. So let's open them up. And I'm going to use the dark, but you could use either one, it doesn't matter. Um, as long as you're using these stamp and blends, it should work uh, with whatever color you want, as long as it's darker than the ribbon you're starting with. Um, because these are alcohol markers, um, the alcohol will go like right into the fabric and stay there and keep the color fast for you. Um, if you try it with water-based markers, which is the regular kind of markers you get in the store, like the Crayola markers or even the Stamp and Write markers, they're also water-based. Um, I don't think it would work because uh, the the water-based marker doesn't have the same technology as the alcohol-based marker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the brush tip here. And I'm just going to color very, very simply. So I'm just going to use broad strokes all the way across and make sure I cover the whole ribbon. And just make sure you have something underneath because alcohol markers do bleed through a great deal, as you can see. Oh, and I should tell you too, if you need a catalog, I'd be happy to send you one. Um, if you've shopped with me in the past six months, so from like September to now, I'd be happy to post it to you for free. If you haven't, um, I would be happy to give you the catalog for free. Um, if you're not local and uh, can't pick it up, that's totally fine. Most of my customers are not and are around the country. Um, but I just ask that you pay the shipping for it. And if you place an order with me, or rather when you place an order with me in July, or sorry, I'm getting it all mixed up. When you place an order with me in May or June of this year, I will happily refund the price of the shipping. Okay, and so if you need a catalog, um, please just send me a message or go to www.juliescraftaddict.com and um, you can find how to get a catalog there as well. I believe there's an icon down the right side of the page. Okay, so there is our lovely ribbon. So see how nice and blue that is now, this bright, bright blue color. So I'm just going to set that off to the side so it will dry very, very well. Um, otherwise, it just gets all over your fingers. So I got a little bit on my finger just holding it in place. But I used my Simply Chamois. And I just rubbed my fingers in it. And that took it off. And if you don't have one of these Simply Chamois, by the way, I think you need one. <laughs> um, these are the best thing. Um, all you do is take this foamy material, and you can see mine's kind of cracked a little bit on the edges, and it's dog-eared because I've used it a long time. It doesn't make a bit of difference. You just run it underwater till it's damp and pliable. You wring it out like you would a dishcloth, and you put the damp one into a empty stamp case like this, and it'll keep it wet for you for quite a long time, and you can just use it to clean your fingers uh, when you get ink on them, and also just stamp your stamps right into there and it'll take off all the color for you, which is really super nice. No chemicals involved at all, which I like very much. Okay, so let's do our stamping now. So I have a panel of white here and I should say that on my blog, uh, which has been inactive the last two days because I've been sick and then had no power, <laughs> Uh, but on my blog this afternoon, I will make sure that I post the full instructions for this and all the links you need to all of the things that we discussed in our little chat we've been having today. So let's see, how do we want to start here? I think we'll start with bubble bath. So let's stamp our lovely balloon there. And we'll get going on our card. All right, so here is our stamp set beautiful balloons and it's got the best sentiments with it look at this happy birthday it's time for a celebration let's get our celebration on so thrilled for you yay you you did it like so many different occasions could be covered by this 
and you've got all kinds of options with all the balloons. And so we are going to take out the ones we need. So I want this big balloon and then I'm going to stamp the little balloon, the middle size balloon, I guess, a couple of times. So I'll just have that waiting in the wings as well. And we'll get right to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna move that down. And I found more was better with the amount of ink, but you can try it out. It might look a little blotchy at first, but it does dry better than that. And sometimes with a brand new ink pad like I have today, you have to kind of try it out a bit. So sometimes more is less and sometimes less is more. So this time I'm getting a little bit of a blotchy effect there. So I might have had too much ink on there. Let me just see if I can try it again. Okay, so I just did one pass that time. So let's see if that makes any difference. Sometimes you want to have several passes at the ink. Other times you just want one. So it all depends too on the effect you're kind of going for. So I don't know. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to go with that and I will just rub my stamp off in the chamois there and let's stamp our next ones. So that's bubble bath. Why don't we go ahead and put on our sentiment? I stamped the sentiment right on top of the balloon before. So let's see if that'll work out again. And my stamp set, there we go. So I'm gonna use happy birthday, same one I used before. And I'm not sure if everybody knows this, but I wanted to mention this because I found not all customers are aware of this. When you get your stamp set, it comes in between an acetate and a plastic bit. If you take it apart, you can actually apply the stamps directly inside your case and stick them right on the image. And that helps you a lot, frankly, to get the right image that you're looking for and to be able to use them without all that sticky paper. I find having the acetate on the top so that the acetate is the thicker piece of plasticky stuff that it comes with. I find putting that on top is the best thing for me and it comes off readily, but it keeps everything in place. So that's just a tip if you haven't known that. Um, it's, uh, it's really a helpful one I find when I'm using my stamp sets. So we're gonna put happy birthday on there. All right, so let's stamp it right on top there. Now hold it down for a few seconds and we'll see how it worked. Yeah, so that's pretty good. So we got our happy birthday. All right, so we got that. Oh, I just realized why this is not stamping right. I didn't put a cardboard underneath. Let me grab one. So since these are photopolymer stamps, you always want to have a piece of cardboard underneath. So there we go, there's a lesson for you. Um, even if you've been stamping for years, it's easy to forget that and it does not make the best of images. So let me see, let me try this again. Let's see if we get a better one this time. All right, so we're gonna hold that down. And the reason that, that you need this cardboard actually is you need a cushion under your photopolymer stamps. The red rubber stamps come with a built-in foam cushion. However, the photopolymer ones do not. And so you have to provide it. And now look at that. See, that turned out a lot better than my other one did. Okay, so that's what the problem was. I was wondering what was going on, and then I suddenly realized, oh, it's me. <laughs> that's what it is. I forgot to put the cardboard under. Okay, so let's close up our bubble bath here. Isn't that a beautiful color, though? I just love it. So there's bubble bath. And this one is Azure Afternoon. So let's see, see if we get a nicer image this time. 
just stamping directly onto the balloon. There's lots of other colors that would work. Berry Burst, one of the new colors. Blueberry Bushel would work really well too. Oh yeah, see that looks better than my other one. Much better. So there you go. So there's your lesson <laughs> that I forgot when I was stamping today. You definitely need a cushion when you're going to do this kind of stamping. And I wanted to show you something about these stamps uh, pads as well. So there's Azure Afternoon, but when it's open, you may have noticed, there's nothing on the end to tell you what it is. However, if you flip it over, they come with these nifty little stickers. So you can just pull up at that little triangle at the corner. And I'm going to take this little sticker off right here. And I'm going to put it on the bottom of my stamp pad. I'm going to put it right there. Oops, let's try to stick it on straight, that would help. And I didn't do it again. Okay, so it's usually easier than this. This is the first time this has ever happened to me, of course, while I'm on a video. Um, but there you go. So let me open that up so you can see. So now when the stamp pad's open, you can actually read what the color is, which is really nice. And they give you ample stickers, so you can put one on the other end too if you want to. They have two in English, and they have one in French, and they have one in German as well. So you can kind of choose your language, whatever you like. Sometimes I put the English, sometimes I put the French, sometimes I put the German because I can read all three languages, but you can put whatever is suitable for you. So that just helps to know that too, because I'm not sure if everybody's aware of that. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm going to open that back up again, and we are going to do another balloon. So we're gonna do a blue one in kind of that medium size. I just like this bundle. It's so happy and cheery. I don't know, I just really like it. Okay, that one was blotchy too. All right, I'm not having luck here today. I don't know why, because when I made my samples, everything worked out just fine. So let me just try it over here. All right, let's try again. Okay, that one worked better. And sometimes if you just hold them down for a little bit more, or just let the ink dry, the blotchy look goes away because you can see on that pink balloon I did, um, it looks just fine now and it doesn't look blotchy at all. It just had time for the ink to kind of cure, I guess, a little bit. So don't worry about it. If you're getting a little bit of blotchiness, just give it a few minutes and it might actually just dry when the ink dries. So we're also gonna use Berry Burst. This is another very attractive new color. And I like this new suite with the um, cheerful balloons, I think it's called. No, beautiful balloons. Because with beautiful balloons, you actually get a lot of brand new colors. And so it's very fun to work with these and to see what you can do with some of the new colors, what combos you like the best, that sort of thing. And um, it's just really nice to have the different ones. All right, so. There are my balloons. So let's see what we're gonna do. And, you know, I think that's a little blotchy for me too. I'm not sure why I'm getting that effect actually, because I didn't in my sample. But anyway, that's all right. These things happen sometimes. And sometimes you have to just try them out a few times. These are all brand new ink pads that I've got. And sometimes, all bets are off when you're using brand new ink pads. Sometimes they're really juicy. Sometimes it's um, the color that is a little bit different than you're used to. Anyway, no worries. You just have to play with them a little bit. All right, so I've got that washed up. And now what I'm gonna do is cut out all my lovely little balloons. So let's get the mini machine. And if you haven't heard, it's very exciting news. The Boho Blue Mini Machine is now available for customers. 
It was just available for new demonstrators before, but now it's available for customers too. So if you're interested in a mini machine, which is great to take along to a crop or to the cottage, on the road, even if you're going on a plane trip, it wouldn't take up much space in your luggage at all, um, then uh, now's the time to get one because you can get the cool boho blue, which is so nice. All right, so I'm going to get a little bit of washi tape here. I just keep a bit of washi around and stick on my dies. So here are the dies that I'm gonna be using. They're the ones that coordinate. And I really like that it comes with a tag. I think that's super nice. And I've used that in one of my cards that I showed earlier, uh, which I'm gonna be including as part of a class for July. Okay, so I'm gonna use this outline of a balloon. And I'm going to take a little bit of washi and just stick that right on there. It doesn't need too much, but just kind of a low tack tape. I think you can buy specific tape for this, but I find a little bit of washi, especially this narrow stuff that doesn't um, get stuck to too many parts of your balloon and stuff. Um, it tends to work really well for this. Okay, I don't think that's gonna fit on there. So we'll just do the one first and then I'll come back with another swing through. Put my plate down there and we'll just crank this through. So I'm just cranking it with my hand. All right, I'm gonna move this down so you can see it coming out. Just in case you haven't seen one of these little mini machines before. And easy, easy, so simple. So there you go, there's your nice little balloon. So I'll put that over there. We'll take this one away and we need to do our next balloon. Okay, so let's do this nice blue one that we've got here. And I'll just tape that on a little bit too. Okay, and we'll put on our plates. And just so you know, the plates have instructions on them. So you know exactly which plate to put where and in what order. So that's awesome. because anybody can just get in a hurry and forget, right? It doesn't matter how many times you've done it. It's so nice to have the reminder right on the machine uh, plates. So there's my little blue balloon. Now let's choose which one of these we want. So that one had a little bit of uneven ink there. I think I like this one more. So you can see, um, you can just try it a couple of times and see which one you like the best. And it's only paper, right? So you can always try it again if the first one didn't turn out quite how you wanted. So let's put our little balloon on here. I'm just going to move that out of the way. There we go. And we will tape this back on. All right. We'll tape that on there. And with the plates. So I'm going to just tell you the order of the plates here in case you haven't seen this before. So you place die cutting edge down. That makes sense, right? So you'll see on your dies and you can tell right away if it's smooth, that's not the die cutting edge. The other side is the cutting edge, but it's not sharp to touch. So you don't have to be afraid of that. It's no problem. So we put one plate number one. So this is plate number one. Then we make a sandwich of two plates number two. So I've got a plate number two there. And it's sandwiched between is our die with the cutting side down taped right onto our paper. And then we put another plate number two to finish the sandwich. So it's very, very simple. No electricity. Um, it's, it's a really nice tool. And one tip I'd have for the mini machine is to stand up and press down like I'm doing with my left hand here that you can see and then crank with my right, or you do it the other way around if you're left-handed, I'm right-handed. Um, it's just really good to stand up and press down and have that pressure keep the machine in place for you. There are little feet on the bottom, you can see there, um, but just to keep it in place, it helps to push down with one hand while you crank with the other. And you can best do that when you're standing. All right, so let's get this little balloon out of here. 
All right, here we go. I'm going to just put those dies aside for right now because we don't need those anymore at the moment. Okay, so here's our little balloons. We got our little collection now. So now we've got to get our card built up so we can put all those lovely balloons on. So I'll put the balloons over there out of the way and we will get the pieces for our card now. All right, so let's start with the card mat. I always like to start with the card mat, which in this case is Azure Afternoon. I was really happy to use this new color. And I layered onto it a bit of Berry Burst. Here it is. And a bit of this beautiful new DSP. Let me show you. So the new DSP that comes with this suite is called Bright and Beautiful Designer Series Paper. It's already cut six by six for you. And let me show you a few of the lovely patterns. Look how colorful they are. So they've got so many new colors. That is Lemon Lime Twist. That's Lemon Lolly. Um, Lost Lagoon. Blueberry Burst. No, Blueberry Bushel, sorry. Berry Burst. That's Pretty Peacock. And I think I've covered them all there. So there's just so many new colors. They're all lovely. I think Fresh Freesia is in here somewhere too. Yeah, and bubble bath. There's just so many new colors. You can see them all just on that sheet right there. So, so many new colors. And these are all pretty bright on this side, but if you prefer more muted kinds of tones and kind of the ombre effect where it goes from light to dark, you just flip them over and you have all these other ones to work with. So very versatile set this is. And uh, once again, that is called Bright and Beautiful DSP. And everything that I have here that I'm showing you today, I will um, have listed in a supply list that you can just click on by photo right in my blog post that I'll be posting up later today as well. I'll just link everything straight from this post uh, that you're watching right now and you can find all the links that you need from there. Okay, so I'm just going to use my stamp and seal and put this right on the paper onto the berry burst. And then I'm going to stick that onto the Azure Afternoon. All right, so let's put that on there. Okay. So now we've got that done. So our basic building blocks are there. We've got our balloons. So now we need to kind of put them all together here. So we've got to bring back our little piece of ribbon. It should be long dry by now. So there you go. We colored it with the Stampin' Blends in Azure Afternoon, but you could color it in any of these coordinating colors that you want. So that's ready to go, but we need to put these strings on the balloons. And what I use for the strings, was another returning product that's in the new catalog and it's called Simply Elegant Trim. So it comes with a whole skein of gold and one of silver. So you could use either one really. I went with the gold because it matches this gold thread that's in our ribbon. Um, so that's why I did that. But the silver would also work if you had a different ribbon there. So here's the gold. So I'm going to just put that on the back here and how I'm gonna do that is with a dimensional. So here's a dimensional. I'm going to stick that right on there and that'll stick down our balloon string for us and also pop up our balloon. So that's perfect. And if you haven't seen these dimensionals before, you get 300 of them for six dollars and these stick so hard. They're just so good. Um, I've tried many over the years, different companies, but when I first saw these um, through Stampin' Up, oh, probably back in 2007, 2008, they have been my go-to ever since. I just love these things. And they come in mini as well. So you get 300 of the big ones or a 720 of the little ones for six bucks, which is great. Okay, so I'm going to just cut off the end here. We'll trim it again at the end, but I just want to make sure I had enough. And you can see I'm working right off the skein of trim here. I don't like to cut in advance because I find I waste more that way. So I keep it right on the spool or the skein and then I cut it later. So we're gonna do the same thing with the other two balloons. 
Um, I had a mini dimensional on here when I made my sample card, but I found that the big ones work so much better to keep on the string that I'm just using the big ones this time. All right, so that one will be kind of over here. So we'll just guesstimate how much we're gonna need. And we'll do the final one, which is the blue. This is Azure Afternoon. It's been so fun working with these new colors. And you'll have to let me know, has anybody worked with these new colors yet? Um, I've just kind of been getting into them because it took a while for my order to get here with all the shipping delays that there have been lately. But uh, I've really enjoyed playing with this whole suite. It's been so fun. Okay, so now what we can do is actually put on our balloons. So I'm gonna stick this one on first. So I'll remove the little backings there. Kind of angle it a little bit. And we've got the blue one. So let's see where we can put that one. Just kind of like that, that should do. And then we've got this berry burst one. And I kind of had it like that maybe. Okay, so what I did to make this effect on my sample card was I took my ribbon here, my Azure Afternoon, and I simply put it around this Simply Elegant trim and I tied, that's it. That's all I did, nothing nothing spectacular. And I'm just gonna trim that. Now normally I wouldn't trim off this much. The reason that I have so much extra is this was the last piece of ribbon on my spool actually. Um, and there wasn't enough to keep to do anything else with. So I just used the whole piece for it. Um, but there we go. So that's good. And now I can trim off the bottoms of this trim as well. So let's see what we can do there. That's pretty good. And you can put this up as high or as low as you want. And what I did as well to keep that in place was I took a glue dot. So one of these mini glue dots, which also I'm a big fan of. I'm just gonna pull one off here with my nail. And I'm gonna put it underneath there so it'll stick that knot right where I want it to be okay so there we go so now I can sort of pull it in a different direction to arrange it there that looks pretty good and now we're going to stick this onto our card base so I'm using a basic white thick card base here I'm gonna use my bone folder to give it a nice crisp fold. If you don't have a bone folder yet, I can't say enough nice things about them. They last practically forever. I had this one when I used to do book binding, which was probably 25 years ago, and it's still going. And you can see it's a bit weathered, but honestly, it works just as well as the day I got it. So if you buy one, you probably won't ever need to buy another one, and it's a great tool. Okay, so I'm going to flip this over and we are going to put on the back some dimensionals. I like to put four in the corners and then one in the middle to keep it from kind of sagging there in the middle. Whoops, I just picked off one of those dots by mistake. I'll put that back on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's take off all of these little papers make sure we're opening the card the right way and again if you missed earlier parts of the video i did go through uh, the catalog and showed a bunch of samples and new products and stamp sets and all the new colors um, i talked about my new color club you can do to collect the colors on a budget uh, i talked about some upcoming upcoming classes as well and how you can order with me is, which is www.juliescraftaddict.com and just 
um, click on shop with me when you get there and it'll take you to the right place to my online store. And meanwhile, we're going to finish this card up. So again, I'm using a whole lot of brand new products, but returning products are um, this Simply Elegant trim, this ribbon, which I colored with a brand new marker, and I'm going to be using for embellishments these classic matte dots. I really like them. They are so useful. They match almost anything, and they're just really, really good little dots to have around. So I'm going to put one up there, and maybe one over here. Oh, that's too far. I want to kind of space them evenly too. I don't want them too different from each other. Okay. And let's see. Actually, I think I'd like it better down here. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm going to put a couple more over here. Let's see if those are kind of evenly spaced. Maybe I'll put that one over just a little bit. So it's at a little bit different angle. That's the thing. I had these ones at a different angle then I changed my mind here. So let me see. Maybe we'll put these at a different angle over there. There we go. That's a little better. So I did them a little bit differently, but basically it's the same card and you can always change it up any way you like. So that is our sample card for today. And as I mentioned, if you go to www.juliescraftaddict.com, you'll find all the different links for the things that I talked about in the video today. And I'll make sure that I put all the links um, right here on this post. Uh, so you can see the replay if you want. And you can also link to all of these different things, including how to shop with me with host code and get my free new in color tutorial bundle this month. So thank you so much for coming and um, watching my video today, for bearing with me with my power outage that's been going on and the bronchitis and the bad voice and all of that. I just appreciate you all so much. So thank you very much. And I hope I can assist you with your crafting needs sometime soon. It would be my pleasure. All right. Meanwhile, have a wonderfully crafty week and enjoy that new catalog. Bye for now.